starting the day off, leaving the hotel, walking over to Expo West. It's pretty warm out here, it's about 70 something. My press pass. Serving size. Serving yeah. size? For yeah. me, it's as much as I can eat. As much as you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> We're a vegan company? Absolutely. Awesome. Pickle? I got a pickle. Let's see how, good, how, how is it? No mm. bad. I love pickles. How you doing, guys? This is my friend that has been vegan his whole life. life. Yeah. This is 
our new three sisters. It is um, corn, black beans, and zucchini with brown rice and quinoa and a little bit of green chili. And you are. And I'm Chef Soraya. This is the Chef Soraya booth, and all of these are vegan, they're gluten free, and they're non GMO. Yeah, I am Deborah from Sorbets, one of the founders. Sorbets is really unique because it's made with nut butters instead of just fruit. So we use a really indulgent base made with creamy nut butters and then we mix in toppings. We also have fruit based sorbets too, so we use whole fruits as our base and then we mix in chocolate or white chocolate. Depending on the They're really indulgent, better than any other sorbet out there. We actually say it's just not ice cream, it's better, is our tagline because it tastes more like ice cream than sorbet. mozzarella from Good Planet Foods. This company brand new cheese. Only been around eight months, so it's cutting edge, brand new vegan mozzarella. Let's go in for a taste test. Mm. Insane. It's so good. Amazing. dairy and it's coconut bait. And they all have names. He's got names for all of them. These are amazing. I had rat yesterday. We have shroom mates. Oh my god. Oh. So that's Iggy himself right here. Iggy. This is Iggy. He's the mascot of Iggy Chips, the best dehydrated veggie and fruit chips on the market. Right, you are. Right well, here, these ones are the best ones, so I gotta try them. The eternal water, eternal life, water is life. So happy. This is like gold here at Expo West. I'm at Bubby's over here at the expo, and I have a mint mochi, mochi, vegan. What do you think? It's setting me free. It's good. I could eat a whole box of these. This is vanilla mochi, and I haven't had vanilla mochi since, I don't know, so I'm super excited to try this out. 
Oh my god! Hey, how's it going? You're gonna sing a, Tastes like coffee. You're gonna sing an NSYNC song for me? Or was that Backstreet Boys? I think it was both. Yes. No, it was Backstreet Boys. No. And now I'm eating coffee. And you got your banana shirt on. I thought it was gonna be the taco one. Nah, I left the taco at home today. Alright, cool. Roller coaster vegan. Hey. I'm vegan. I'm eating coffee bars at Expo on the floor. I know that wasn't that good, but weren't you in like you were like a popular My MySpace? I was a MySpace person. Were you on like America Got Talent or something? I was not. Oh, you should I have was been, not. right? Maybe. Maybe. Can people even find you on MySpace? Uh, they can. MySpace.com slash nice guys finish first. Nice guys finish first. It's not gonna be a very good website. I haven't maintained it in years. Well, I haven't either, but yeah. They can see you sing, right? Uh, if they go to YouTube, they could probably find a video. And if they go on iTunes or Apple Music or Spotify and search Nice Guys Finish First, they can find my music. All vegan everything? Yes, everything. Oh my god, vegan. Oh, that's the greatest name ever. You're my idol. Called Nothing But The Fruit. All vegan jerky. Yeah. Fruit jerky. Let me try one of these ones. Some people find them. So we're just, but our other products are in Starbucks and Target and Weg Wegmans, but the, these are brand new. We've got our truffles and we've got our bar chocolate. So everything is available in the vegan, uh, never any dairy, and we sweeten with uh, dates and pure maple. We've got raw bar chocolate, 88% dark. This is the sprouted nut butters and seed butters. This is the truffles, this is our brick. Wow. And these below are the sprouted snacks. We've got the sprouted nuts, sprouted seeds, and the trail mix. It's very serious. I just love how these uh, these packages, the cellulose, and can be breaking down. Totally eco-friendly, everything about it. The vegan Nutella. I've never had raw. Hemp, sprouted. Nina. Uncle. Natural Products Expo 2018, we're coming for you. We just finished day one. Oh my God, there's, look at all these burritos I just got from Alpha Food. We got all the snacks. I'm with Nicole. Uh, yep. Met her at the first expo, the first expo west I went to. And we're still yeah, and you were working at the Hint booth, and yes. we can actually see footage if you go back to that video of the first time we ever saw you. Yeah, insert it right here. It was the Hint booth. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, we'll put the clip right there. I'm I'm going around, and I can't help it, but I'm telling everybody. Aww. Nicole, if you want to see her, Google. What can we go? Because she was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, yes. and it's really exciting. So if you guys want to see if she wins any money or not. Yeah. Definitely go check that yeah. out. Where can they find that? Uh, if you just type in Nicole and who wants to be a millionaire into the YouTube search bar, you'll probably find it. But there it's, were. It's her and her husband. Me and my husband, and then Brian and Anna, those annoying vegans. There were two vegan couples in this uh, couple edition we did of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire that aired just a, just a month ago or so. Yeah. So it was crazy cool to have the vegan couples do. Spoiler, pretty well, better than the uh, non-vegan couples. So that's kind of interesting. Do vegans have more brain power? I think so. Well, we're very good at trivia. Find out. Watch Nicole. <laughs> But I think I think it's funny that you just said that right when they got <laughs> on. <laughs> what did we do today, Chris? We went to the Natural Products Expo West, and we had a really good time. And we walked around all the crazy floors. It was supposed to be the first day that really wasn't negative one, as Nicole would say. And um, but it was like crazier than anything I've ever seen. And I almost felt claustrophobic, but it worked and we saw a lot of new products and tasted a lot of things. I tried not to get too full, but um, collected some, some pretty good products here to show 
you guys, you know. Yes. Can you see that cupcake? Mm -hmm. I'm taking pictures of it. I'm doing my media here. This is BTS of the BTS. Social media. Better bites. And I know it's not good for me because I should be eating way better food, but... But, dear lord, they were so nice. Look at all the cool... Oh, I'm not, de I'm not denying look that. Look at all the really cool nice. stuff. Look at, look at that. Look at that perfectly Instagrammable photograph. It's a rainbow. Chris, take a bite. Just give the people what they want. Not everything needs to be a boomerang. But I, Your haters be, are gonna hate it. This needs to be boomerang because I think there's cream in the middle. Really? In the end of the frame. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. Ah, yeah. Alright, so save that one and we're gonna post it. Alright, midnight in the hotel, day one, going to the gym to work out. And then I'll probably edit a video and go to sleep. See you in the gym. All right guys, work out every day. At least that's what I do. Whether it's just some push-ups and pull-ups, going for a little run, make sure you do something. I've been doing it every day, non-stop, for going on six years. I kind of stopped counting after a while. Never make an excuse, even if you're really tired, do something, do some push-ups, get up, get a pull-up bar, do some pull-ups. Don't grow a beard though, because you're gonna get a lot of food stuck in it. I'm gonna show you guys the correct way to use a ball. First, you're gonna get the, uh, your favorite color. When you walk and be able to dribble it, it's got enough air in it. You're gonna sit on it and then just kind of roll, roll. If you fall, just keep bouncing it like it was all part of your plan. Even if you can't do all of these, start with a push up, start with a pull up, start with some walking. I, I did a video on this, but I had really bad back problems I ended up getting surgery. And even now, the main problems are gone, but my lower back still kind of hurts. Sometimes it's hard to bend over and stuff, but I started doing some lower back exercises at the gym, mm. strengthening it, and it's, it's really helping. I mean, it still hurts sometimes, but I'm gonna keep doing it. Unfortunately, there's nothing here for me to do that exercise, so. You literally just pick up your back feet, pick up your hands, down. It just strengthens your lower back. Cool. Vegan leather. <laughs> leather, yeah. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two. I used to be really bad at running. Like even when I was at what I thought was my prime. Skateboarder every day, all day, every day. I couldn't even run like barely half a mile. Now in my 40s, I ran six miles. I don't run out of breath as easy. Back then, I'd run a mile, and my head felt like it was gonna explode for literally the next 10 hours. And I could definitely couldn't talk while I was running. I just kept doing it. One day, I went outside my neighborhood, intentions of doing one mile. And at the time, the furthest I've ever ran was three miles. So, I ran a mile, and I decided, let's go for another one. So I ran two miles. Then I did another one. I ran three miles. I'm like, well I could go four miles and make a new record. So, I went four miles, and then I hurt my foot. I wanted to stop, but I kept running, and I ran five miles, and now I'm like, this is my personal record, five miles. So, I said maybe I could run six, and at that point, I felt like I wasn't even in my body anymore. Tunnel vision, just running. I ran six miles, and I would have kept going, but my left, my left arm started to go tingly, kind of numb. So 
I don't know why that was, but I definitely didn't want to die of running because I've never done that before. And I was born with a heart condition that I was told I would never outgrow. When I was 22, I went and I got a cardiogram. I outgrew it. I don't know if it has anything to do with my diet or my lifestyle, but I like to think so. Either way, I ran six miles and that was my personal record. Whoa. You turned it on over here. <laughs> Cameraman turned on. <laughs> he accidentally turned on yeah. my treadmill. Tell the story about how a paparazzi thought you were Jared Leto and I I don't know if that's what they thought. No, it's what they thought. Okay. 400%. It's story time. Okay. I'm eating my noodles at Ramen Hood in LA. This guy comes over around the corner from where I'm sitting. He's got an awesome camera, huge lens. And he's looking at me, making eye contact. He's not smiling, puts his camera up, points it at me. So I kind of put my head down like I'm gonna eat my noodles. Snapped a picture of me, lowers his camera. Doesn't smile, nothing. Walks right away. Like, what the heck was that? Why would a guy come up to me and take my picture and walk away? Unless he wanted my ramen. Or your soul. You just stole your soul. I don't need a soul, I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan zombie. There's some kind of TV on my monitor and they just showed a tomato and a credit card. And he tried to sell this tomato with a credit card. It didn't work. So he put the credit card in this knife star sharpener, and then the credit card sliced through the tomato. Weird. I'm watching Star Trek Next Generation, or Deep Space Nine. So close, you could taste it. Does it taste like a cookie dough bite? Not really. I feel good to go on to Expo tomorrow and hopefully not eat too much junk. All right. We both know that's Time not true. <laughs>